Here we're told about the manna from heaven. I don't know if you've ever remember Moses was uh, leading the children of Israel to pick manna from heaven. They would find manna from heaven on the ground each morning, the scripture says. Here they are picking up the manna from heaven on the ground each morning. Here in Exodus <clears throat> 16, 14, it says, And when the dew that lay on the ground was gone up, behold, the face of the wilderness there lay a small round thing, as small as hoarfrost on the ground. So now we know, and the next one in 15 says, And when the children of Israel saw it, they said to each other, to one another, It is manna, for they did not know what it was. In Hebrew, manna simply means, What is it? I mean, they tried this stuff and said, Whew, God, what is this stuff? You know? So what is it? They don't know. Well, what is it in Hebrew is manna. So they call it manna. Well, what is manna? The manna from heaven was a small round thing. And it says when the dew that was on the ground, of course, when the sun comes up, it evaporates. And behold, upon the face of the wilderness, there lay a small round thing. <clears throat> manna, meaning Hebrew, what is it? It had seven characteristics from the old ancient world. Small, round, wafer-like, sweet could be hard, can be melted, and it was obviously from heaven. Because when you ate the mana, you could talk to God. Well, now we found out mana was a small round thing, mushrooms. And here are the priests of, of Israel, here's the Hebrew priest of Israel wearing a mushroom on his head, the mushroom headdress. I've often wondered, see, because the mushrooms were hallucinogenic uh, a hallucinogenic drug <clears throat> and I've often wondered is that why they call the priest high priest <laughs> the sacred mushroom the key to the door of eternity the search for the sacred plant of the ancients used to send the mind to another world and into the future let me tell you something I've never tried any drug in the world ever not pot nothing ever however I am not so stupid as to not be well informed about the potentials for the mushroom the magic mushroom from all indication is a sincerely important discovery that was made in the ancient and prehistoric world this stuff works the magic mushroom and 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 other uh, uh, hallucinogenic drugs like that do something to the electromagnetic forces in the brain to open up your mind and open up your spirit to all kinds of profound things that you're just totally not aware of. So while this is a hallucinogenic drug, nonetheless, this is a very important stuff here. Magic mushrooms are not to be laughed at. It is not a light thing. This stuff is very serious stuff. And that particular kind of mushroom is called a uh, Amonita muscara. The sacred mushroom in the cross, John Allegro, the man, the third man in charge of the Dead Sea Scrolls wrote, wrote this book. The sacred mushroom in the cross, a study of the nature and origins of Christianity within the fertility cults of the ancient Near East by John Allegro. John Allegro was the number three man appointed by the state of Israel, England, and America in charge of the Dead Sea Scrolls. The top three men that were picked in the beginning were all fired because of what they said was in the Dead Sea Scrolls that was not supposed to be said. All, all three men were fired. <coughs> There is the Am Amanita Muscara. Here in the catacombs of Rome, under the Vatican, you will find uh, paintings in the old catacombs of the Amanita Muscara being the sacred tree of knowledge of good and evil. Well, the whole concept is if you take the, 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 the mushroom, it opens up your mind to all kinds of off-the-wall things. And of course, you can talk to God. Here's a, here's a small group of mushroom heads. Here's another bunch of them. <laughs> the chump there with the big beard looks like he's been on it for a while. Some more mushroom heads. There they are. So when you see these uh, mushroom headdress, just remember that's where it comes from, mushrooms. 
the high priest, and all the ancient world, all of them took mushrooms. Okay? So that's it on that. There it is, the high priest of Israel with the mushroom. Now, 